Hey, Sippers, last story for today. Project 25, military mandated. I am only going to read the yellow highlighted portions and you guys can pause and read the rest for yourself. Restrict the use of social media solely for purposes of recruitment and discipline. Any armed services personnel who use an official command channel to engage with civilian critics on social media. Reserve policies that allow transgender individuals to serve in the military. Gender dysphoria is incompatible with the demands of military service and the use of public... Um, I can't see that word. Sorry. For transgender surgeries or to facilitate abortion for service members should be ended. Value the military family. Military service requires extreme sacrifices by families. <laughs> So they just going to make you. What about if they don't want to go into the military? I apologize. Sometimes my eyes get a little blurry. Young civilians who would thrive in a military environment disenfranchised. When, edit when educators and influencers disencourage them from learning about the military service and preparing for wearing the honor of, a, <laughs> of American uniforms. An honor for who? The United States military is an extraordinary institution staffed by exceptional people who have defended our nation and changed the course of history. But the Biden administration, through word and deed, has treated the armed forces as just another place to work. We must restore our military in a place of honor and respect and recruit and retain the individuals who will meet the rigorous standards of excellence that are required for membership in the world's greatest fighting force. Needed reforms. Mm, whatever. Recruiting the recruiting was the worst in 2022 that it has been two generations and expected to be even worse in 2023. Remember, this thing has been rewritten, guys. Some of the problems are self-inflicted and ongoing. The recruiting problem is not service specific. It affects the entire joint force. Appoint a special assistant to the president who will maintain... There, my blur again. With Congress, DOD, and all other interested parties on the issue of recruiting and retention. Improve recruiting by suspending the use of recently in introduced Genesis system that uses private medical records of potential recruits at military interest processing stations, creating unnecessary delays and unwarranted rejections. Right. We have you have a right. You don't you don't want to go. You shouldn't have to go. Improve military recruiters access to secondary schools and require completion of armed forces vocal aptitude battery. Um, they have many people who do want to enlist. And um, yeah, if these children don't want to go, they shouldn't have to. You know how many kids enlisted in 2017, 2018, whenever it was, you know how many people lost their children? They weren't even able to uh marry, have children, grow up, anything. If these children do not want to go over and fight, they should not have to. Guys, make sure you like the video. Listen, all public school students will have to go into the military. Private school students will not. That's some bullshit. Oh, here's, here's how Trump feels. Trump has sought to distance himself from Project 2025, claiming that he has no idea who is behind it. Of course, you know, uh, allegedly, he's a liar. According to CNN, which also found that some 140 people who have worked for the former president have been involved in its creation, including six former cabinet secretaries. OK, and they have the use of Trump name throughout this mandate. OK, but he didn't know anything about it. Bullshit. He claims, I have no idea who is behind it. I disagree with some of the things they're saying, and some of the things they're saying are absolutely ridiculous and abysmal. Anything they do, I wish them luck, but I have nothing to do with them, Trump said last week. Newsweek has contacted Trump for comment via the contact form on his website. Okay. If Trump wins president, you guys will see. He wished them luck. He has nothing to do with them. He thinks some of the things are ridic ridiculous and abysmal. Probably because he had no uh, parts in creating it. Um, and when I say that, I mean 
he probably didn't write it with them, okay? The movement itself has denied its affiliation with Trump. We are not affiliated with former President Trump, it posted on X, formerly Twitter, this week. We are a coalition of more than 110 conservative groups advocating policy and personnel recommendations. But they are former workers of Trump's and also a part of his secretary cabinet. Who's lying here? Anyway, guys, please like the video. Subscribe. Come back. Don't allow anyone to steal your joy. Please like the video. Like, like, like. And support the channel. Please support the channel. Please like the video. Subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Have a wonderful day. And don't allow anyone to steal your joy.